Welcome back. I'm here with Doc Williams, who is the Novatech electrical engineer working with MachineSense. And Doc, tell us about the MachineSense power analyzer and why it's so important. Well, we use the power analyzer to help you analyze things like total harmonic distortion, phase imbalances, and things like that, that, you know, typically, uh, a guy, a maintenance manager, they probably have no idea what the power's like. And they start, and they're replacing a motor over in one corner of their facility every six months or so, and they think it's normal because it's always been that way. And we've had some customers with, where you put those, the sensor out on that equipment and you find a lot of THD, harmonic distortion, and customers go and they address it, they get their engineering guy to go and address the root cause. All of a sudden, we're not changing motors every six months again. We haven't changed a motor in a year. So this is what it's for. It's like all these electrical problems a lot of these things are hidden from the guy because if the lights come on and the motor spins, we're good. But maybe it's not always that way. Well, tell us about why this is different than the other power analyzers that are out in the market right now. The other power analyzers out in the market, are, uh, they're more spot checks. You take it out and you carry it over to one piece of gear and you hang it on there and every 15 minutes, maybe it looks at something and logs 15 minute data. Well, instead of getting one signal every 15 minutes, we're getting 8,000 signals every second. So that's what we bring in on current and on voltage. And we look at that, we do a lot of edge computing down in a, in a processor that we have here, and we aggregate that data, send it, up, uh, send it up to the cloud where there's more analysis done. Then the, the product can send, anytime anything goes wrong, you get a real-time email, text message, however you want to receive the, uh, the data, you will get that in real time. So you'll know, it'll wake you up at three o'clock in the morning and say, dude, you better go to work because something's wrong out there. So that, and we, we have screens like this, which is the dashboard screen. A guy looks at that thing first thing in the morning and he says, all the green stuff, I'm good. I don't have anything to do. If it's yellow, maybe he's got to go find a technician to go out and find out what's happening. And red, he's in trouble. So it's, it's a nice, easy, quick thing to, for, the, for a maintenance manager guy or anybody that's in that plant to take care of. That's pretty impressive. How easy is it to install? Oh, it's the, the installation. Other than you have to worry about things like uh, electrical rules and such like that, is you don't want a guy sticking his hands in yeah. anything with 480 volts. So you, th you, you, you take the power down on the, on, off of the, uh, the wherever you're going to put these, and these these are current tra transformers. You just click them open like that, put them over the wire, close them up. You're done with those. And on the on the voltage side, we we, we most of our customers we see use a hard connection where they plug this into the bottom of a breaker or wherever it goes into the motor, and then hooks up to the uh, hooks up to this end, and goes into the power analyzer. Also, if, if you're doing something quick and, and you don't want to, you know, you don't want to interrupt that circuit, we have alligator clips, and all this stuff comes within the kit. So you'll get the alligator clips and the hard connections, and they all just plug, they plug on the end of these little banana clips, no problem. So you can really, once you have the, the equipment op open, if if you got a guy, if it takes him five minutes to do this job, you better talk to him about his, you know, production. He may, so I would think two minutes to install. Now you're gonna have, you know, you have to find a home for that, um, but I, and you have to supply it with either 24 volts or 110 AC, so, and that's installation. Perfect. People are always concerned about security. How do you address the security issues or the concerns that people have about having a system where it's up on the cloud? Well, everything in here obviously is okay, um, but once we go to the cloud, we encrypt the data, and everything is, we shouldn't have any, we've never had any problems. We've seen guys try to get in the, this equipment and, we, and they've all been rejected. And we've done some testing, some hack testing and stuff like that, and we're good. Final question, Doc, how do people order this? How do they find out about it? Is it through the Novatech reps, is well, it online? They, they, Novatech reps, you go to uh, machinesense.com, look in there. You can find me, my email is R-I-A-L-W at novatech.com, let me know, I'll take care of you. That's perfect. Doc, thanks very much. Okay. Appreciate your time. Thank you. That was great. Thank you.